Texas Math Mundo audience. Let's do some math. Today's topic, the harmonic mean and average speed problems. I was motivated because almost all my students missed a, a similar problem after the first virtual challenge meets. So I decided, you know what, let me make an instructional video on the harmonic mean and average speed problems. Uh, let me take a moment to ask you that if you enjoy this content, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell, smash that like button, and uh, make a comment below. The harmonic mean, average speed, right ahead. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. All right, Texas Math Mundo audience. Today we're going to be talking about the harmonic mean and average speed problems. The harmonic mean, surprisingly perhaps, pops up on uh, certain types of average speed problems. So let's start off with defining the harmonic mean. So the harmonic mean, harmonic mean uh, is defined. If you have a set of n numbers, say a sub one, a sub two, dot, 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 all the way to a sub n, then the harmonic mean is defined as n divided by the sum of the reciprocals of your set of n numbers. And so in this manner, the harmonic mean is defined. And uh, this pops up on average speed problems. So what I'm gonna do now that I've defined the harmonic mean, I'm gonna show you in theory how this pops up. So let me clear my canvas. And uh, let's take a look. It pops up, the harmonic mean, uh, when the same distance is being traversed at different rates, uh, let's say for a total of n times. So the distance is the same. So let's say distance is traversed at uh, you know rate one, time one, at a and then another time is traversed, say, at uh, a different rate and hence a different time that it's traversed. And this happens dot, dot, dot uh, for n different rates and n different times. So the way you want to look at it, and often they'll ask then, the, the question asks is, what is the average speed uh, of uh, all his distance, all the time he's traveled? So the way to look at this is first, we're going to define average speed as total distance divided by total time. Total distance divided by total time. And in this particular scenario, you'll see how the harmonic mean pops out. So the total distance, since he tra uh, traverses a distance of d n times, the total distance is n times d. Now the total time will be t sub 1 plus t sub 2 plus dot 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 t sub n. But I want to take a look at your distance equals rate times time problem for a second. So let's go up here. Let's take a look at, say, the first one as I circle it. Solving for time, t sub 1, would simply equal to the distance traversed divided by the rate sub 1. In a similar way, t sub 2 is equal to the distance traversed divided by rate sub 2. So what we can do is we can replace all, so in the stop, the total distance still remains n times d, but what happens is we can replace all the distances, uh, all the, excuse me, all the, the, each individual time and the sum of times uh, by the distance divided by the corresponding rate. So time sub one can be replaced with the distance divided by r sub one. Time sub two can be replaced by the distance divided by rate sub two. And in this manner, for all the n times. So, on top, you still have your uh, distance, total distance traverse. Uh, d was traversed n times, so the total distance was nd. But on the bottom, you can factor out a d. So when you factor out a d, you're left with the sum of the reciprocals of the corresponding rates. And... When you cancel out, 
cancel out, what you have is the harmonic mean of the set of rates. The harmonic mean of the set. So it's n divided by the sum of the reciprocals of all the rates. Dot, dot, dot. And that's how it is. So harmonic mean pops out or is the solution when the same distance is traversed several times with different rates and hence different times. And the question posed is, what is the average speed of his total journey? Okay, so that's how it's done. So we're going to take a look at a couple UIL problems uh, where, we, uh, where the harmonic mean is, can be quickly used to solve the problem. Okay, so the first problem I want to look at that illustrates how the harmonic mean can use to be solved an average speed problem is problem number 59 from 2013. Problem number 59 uh, from 2013, uh, UIL uh, B. Okay, so let's take a look. The, the question asks, uh, D Sprinter ran four warm-up laps before practice. The following chart shows his lap speed. So uh, it says, what was D's average speed? So this is a case where he's traversing the same distance at different rates. So uh, lap one is 22.5 kilometers per hour, lap two, 20.6 kilometers per hour, lap three, 20 kilometers per hour, and lap four, 24 kilometers per hour. So he's traversing the same distance four different times, and they ask for the average speed, and so the answer is the harmonic mean of the set of rates. So the answer is four divided by one over 22.5, plus 1 over 20.6 plus uh, 1 over 20 plus 1 over 24. And plug in this into the calculator. So let's plug this into the calculator. So uh, I'm going to probably speed up this. I don't know of a harmonic button on the cap. So I don't know of a harmonic mean button on the calculator. I actually have to just Plus in it, plug it into the to the uh, plug it into the scratch pattern to the calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. And when we push enter, oops, I forgot to put division symbol here. That's a division symbol. When I push enter, I get that control. Approximate, I get 21.662, and our answer is D. Our answer is D, 21.666. So it's approximately equal to 21.66. All right, so that's our answer there. That was UIL B. Number 59 from the year 2013. All right, now for the next problem. All right, Texas Math Mundo audience. The second problem, now I want to do something a little different. I want to read this problem, and then I would like you to pause, and I'd like you to attempt a problem, and write the answer on the comments section below. So here's the plan. We're going to read the problem together. I'll ask you to pause and work on this independently. When you come up with an answer, please uh Go ahead and uh, submit the answer in the comment section below. Uh, you can make any uh, question. You can ask a question in the comment section. Uh, you can make a comment like it's too easy. Or you can just simply put A, B, C, D, or E. Okay, so let's read the prompt. And this is problem. Let me uh, indicate what problem this came from. So this, oops. This is District 2018. So District... 2018, uh, this is number 41, obviously. So it reads, every morning, Johnny Jogger covers nine miles on a trail near Lake Ray Roberts. He walks the first three miles at a speed of four miles per hour. He runs the next three miles at a speed of seven miles per hour. And he jogs the last three miles at a speed of five miles per hour. Find the mean speed for his nine mile trek. All right, so go ahead and attack it. Hit the pause button. Uh, 
attack the problem, write your answer in the comment below, and then resume. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this problem. So he, he travels the same distance three times. So three miles, three miles, three miles, and three miles. The distances, if you remember our discussion to open up, the distances just cancel out. What you need is you need um, the uh, harmonic mean of the set of rates. So there are three different rates. So I get three divided by, and the rates are, uh, the first one he was four miles per hour. The next one was three miles per hour. And the last one was seven miles per hour. So when you plug that into the calculator, let's go ahead and do that. And again, I don't, I don't know any uh, shortcut for the harmonic mean button on the TI Inspire, so I just end up uh, plugging it all in. And so um, let's go ahead and hit the approximation button. 5.06 is your approximation. And so if we minimize our calculator, uh, we get 5.06. So the answer is A, approximately 5.06. And so that does it. They pop up every so often. I was motivated by the fact that on the, verse, the first virtual challenge meet, all my kids missed a similar problem. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do an instructional video on this. I hope you enjoyed the discussion. I hope you enjoyed the discussion, the harmonic mean and average speed uh, problems. I hope my students watch this video so they won't miss these problems in the future. Uh, let me take a moment to ask you that if you enjoy this uh, content, please uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell, uh, smash that like button, and make a comment below. Your support really means a lot to me. Uh, I have a lot of great things to store for the future. Uh, uh, my name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Farewell.